Question number 15. I have a total of rupees 300 in coins of denomination rupee 1, 2 and rupee 5. What does it mean? It means I have a total value with me that is equal to 300 rupees which are composed of coins of value rupee 1, rupee 2 and rupee 5. Here I do not know how many they are but when I add them all they give me a value equal to 300. What is the denomination here? Denomination simply means that I have a coin of rupee 1, 2 and 5. That is the value of those coins is rupee 1, rupee 2 and rupee 5. Apart than this I do not have any other currency. It simply means I'll have some number of 5 rupee coin, 2 rupee coins and 1 rupee coin and when I'll add them up I'm having a value equal to rupees 300. Now the other statements are the number of rupee 2 coins is 3 times the number of rupee 5 coins. It means the total number of 2 rupee coin I have is equal to 3 times the number of 5 rupee coin or thrice the number of 5 rupee coins. It simply means if I have 2 coins of rupee 5 then I should have 6 coins of rupee 2. Moving on the total number of coins is 160. Another hint is that total number of coins is equal to 160. How many coins of each denomination are with me? That is using this two given statements or two hints we have to find the total number of coins of each denomination. That is we have to find how many coins I have of rupee 1 and rupee 5 and rupee 2. In this question the idea remains the same as we had of question number 14 and let us try to solve our question. So the given conditions are number first is in the first line itself complete value equals rupees 300 so we have written it down. Another statement is the total number of coins with me is 160 that is given in third statement and in the second statement we have number of rupee 2 coins here is in mathematics means equal 3 times the number of rupee 5 coins. So 3 times the number of rupee 5 coins. We just wrote all the three statements in semi mathematical form. Remember it is not the case of ratios. Therefore we do not have any factor here. It is a simple question with the same idea as that of question number 14. So my assumptions would be let the number of rupee 5 coins equals to C because we have told you in previous questions as well that in equation this is dependent on this quantity that is rupee 2 coin is dependent on rupee 5 coins that is rupee 2 coins would be 3 times whatever the number of rupee 5 coins we have. So let's assume rupee 5 coins equals to C. Small letter C is the variable here and C simply denotes coins. Therefore we took our variable in this question as small letter C. Therefore we are just writing it in terms of mathematics. Number of rupee 2 coins equals 3 times is multiplication and we need not to write between our variable and its coefficient. It is understood it is getting multiplied. So 3 times of rupee 5 we have assumed it to be C. Therefore 3C came. Now again we are using our statement number second. This is a sign of because. Because the total number of coins with me equals 160. With the help of this statement we can equate both sides in terms of our quantities that is the total number of coins we have. Therefore number of rupee 1 coin we do not know yet how many rupee 1 coins we have we are simply writing it plus when you add number of rupee 2 coins we have assumed it to be 3c therefore we wrote 3c and when you add number of rupee 5 coins that we have assumed as c therefore we wrote it c. All these three add up to 160 in number. So our idea is to write every other quantity in terms of C that we have assumed and we can easily find that value and then plug the value of C in our equations. So the number of rupee 1 coins this as it is 3C plus 1C is 4C and when we transpose it towards right hand side it becomes negative because here in left hand side it is positive. So 160 minus 4C that is the value of number of rupee 1 coins. This all we have deduced using our second equation. Also we know total value equals 300. Now we will use it 
and we have to convert these coins into values and you know very well from your previous question how we convert our numbers into values by simply multiplying the numbers with its corresponding denomination therefore total number of rupee coins we have deduced as 160 minus 4c and when you multiply it with rupees 1 it gives us the value and we are going to add number of rupee 2 coins that is 3c but adding only 3c would be wrong it would be number so we have to convert into value by multiplying it with rupee 2 so this will give us value of rupee 2 coins similarly we have to add value of rupee 5 coins that would be c multiplied with rupee 5 and now we are in a position to equate it equal to rupees 300 because when we add them all that is value of each denomination it equates to rupees 300 now we can cancel this rupee with all these rupees here because ultimately rupees can be taken as common now we are left with 160 minus 4c so we wrote it as it is plus 3 to the 6 multiplied with c so it gives 6c and here 5c 5c obviously this positive sign that equates to 300 now we would solve this equation minus 4c plus 6 plus 5 is 11 c obviously because same variable we have equal to 300 as it is transposing positive 160 towards right hand side it becomes minus 160 solve it different signs we are going to subtract it and sign will come of greater number so minus 4c plus 11c is 7c because we subtract it and sign comes of positive so 4 minus 11 equals 7 and c as it is here 300 minus 160 is 140 cancelling opportunity in numerator part in an equation we have told you several times so 1 7 is a 7 2 7 is a 14 0 as it is so we have successfully separated c that's value came as 20 and what we have assumed c for it was number of rupee 5 coins therefore we can straight away write number of 5 coins equals 20 and we have to find number of coins of denomination 1 and 2 so number of rupee 1 coins so it was 4 to the 8 80 so it comes out to be 160 minus 80 that is equal to 80 here we have done the same that is 160 minus 4c or 160 minus 4 into 20 is 80 therefore it is equal to 80 now at last number of rupee 2 coins we have assumed it to be 3 times c so 3 into 20 gives you 60 and the question was asking to find how many coins of each denomination are with me and we have found it successfully that is the number of coins of each denomination rupee 1 i have 80 coins rupees 2 i have 60 coins and at last rupee 5 coins i have 20 coins so you see by visualizing the problem our question becomes easy to solve important point to note is in terms of ratio we have to assume a common factor whereas this was a straightforward question with this our question number 15 is completed 